Finally, guys, I'm giving you my performance review of the Scotty One from World Balance Philippines. So shout out again, World Balance, for letting me try the Scotty One. And of course, congrats, Scotty. And thank you, Eric, from World Balance. Let's talk about the sneakers. A lot of you have been curious about the Scotty One because it's a Filipino-made, it's a local-made brand. I know, to be honest, a lot of you are skeptical about it because, syempre, local brand, hindi siya some big brands like what we've known, the Nike, Adidas, Puma, etc. And, of course, I know where you're coming from. But, guys, World Balance has been in the sneaker industry for over three decades already. So, right now, they finally stepped up their game, in my opinion, because they have some basketball sneakers that are out in the market that are good but the Scotty one is a different breed I mean different breed so let's talk about it so for the Scotty one's upper it has a rip stop upper all throughout the sneaker from the forefoot to the heel so it's a dual layered upper so the dual material niya a merong net inside it it's a dual layer so the main purpose of the Grip stop material is to give you the support that you need. So, pag naga lateral steps ka, lateral moves, and I'm feeling that when I'm doing lateral side steps or lateral cuts, the rip stop material really catches my foot and doesn't let my foot roll off the footbed. So important yan. Kahit the Scotty one is medyo on the narrow side, so take that into consideration. It's a very narrow sneaker. It's shaped for Scotty Thompson's foot. But if you're a fan of like a Kobe sneaker, you will like the shape of the Scotty One. It has a similar fit to the Kobe's. So Scotty One, although it's a narrow sneaker, it still has a very nice support. You can see the cushion still going out here as a lateral outrigger for the sneaker. Plus the ripstop material gives you the lateral support that you need. Plus this S plate here that you can see this plastic piece hindi siya ganong katigas pero it's still strong enough to hold your foot lalo na pag nag lateral cut ka so around the midfoot hindi talaga lalabas yung paa mo plus the cushion also goes up here and cages your foot even sa heel part of the sneaker so nakaka-cage talaga nakaka-cradle yung foot mo properly around the sneaker so that's one thing that's really nice about the Scotty one is support wise very supportive upper no delays and of course durability for the scotty one in the toe area it's fused so yan durable yan so para pag nakatapak ka or you slid off someone's foot natamaan mo hindi mapupunit yung ribstop material so that's nice about the scotty one and as for the lacing system of the scotty one it's a traditional lacing system, but of course, it's a one booty upper. So it's very easy to modify your laces if you want it to be tighter here in the forefoot or around the ankle part. You can do so. Adjust it down according to your desired fit to the sneaker. And as for the heel part, the heel containment support, very nice. There's an internal heel plate here to give you the container that you need and for this outside is a synthetic leather and there's a pull tab on top of the lacing system and around the heel to open up and it's very easy to put your foot in especially after wearing them several times so as for heel containment heels lock down ang ganda your foot won't slip off the footbed so that's one thing that's really nice about the Scotty one plus this insole or sock liner of the Scotty one is very very nice it's not just your ordinary foam i don't know if this is also a bounce pad but if you've been wearing the world balance sneakers there's extra cushion on the insole for world balance sneakers the insole is made out of bounce pad it's very plush it gives you extra plushness impact protection so overall feel and heel containment siempre heel containment very very good lockdown very good comfort around the ankle Achilles pillows this Achilles pillows are very nice I mean the heel containment you'll be getting out of the Scotty one is really nice and ankle support there's enough ankle support because when you tighten the laces this last two laces it will really pull their foot down to the footbed and 
One more thing that's adding to the support of the sneaker is under the knit. If you can see these lines on the knit, these are extra stitches that will give you extra support to the sneaker. So it stretches, paganon, paganon siya. Pero when you push your foot out, paganon, it doesn't stretch. So because of the stitches, so gives you extra support there. So I think that's another thing that's very well thought of of the Scotty one. It's not just a net, not just for comfort, but it gives you extra support too. Now let's move on to the cushion part of the Scotty one. So as you can see, it's a full on foam cushion. So you may say uh, maybe it's a generic Phylon, TPU, but it's a nitro injected cushion that's really famous right now, being used by a lot of brands. I am happy that World Balance is using this kind of tech for a foam because this kind of foam is very responsive, very nice court feel. At the same time, after several use, the bounciness will really show off. So yang bouncy na ngayon. Like, I've been playing with the Scotty One nonstop. I'm checking, I'm really trying out the cushion if it will sag. But after more use of the sneaker, the bounce improved even more. So, I mean, good job, World Balance. Ang ganda na ng bounce niya from the forefoot to the heel. And like I said, bounciness, responsiveness. Nandiyan siya. Impact protection is also there. I was trying to compress this. It's really compressing really nicely around the heel. Overall, cushion, no problem. Very nice balance of court feel, bounciness, and impact protection for a foam cushion. I mean, if you can try it out, guys, you will be impressed. Take my word for it. And now, let's move on to the traction. Another highlight of the Scotty One. It has a traditional, like, herringbone pattern, plus this red part. I think this is for your lateral moves. It has a different, like, a harder compound to it, more red parts of the traction. Man, this was really gripping really hard. If you watch my unboxing and initial impression on the Scotty One, I was really playing on a very, very dusty floor. But this one was squeaking, squeaking really hard. And this court that I recently played it is really clean and it's gripping really hard. Traction, A+. Plus. I mean, good job, good job. Ganda ng traction talaga. Even for outdoor use, I think this will last for a long time. For outdoor use, it's very durable. I mean, traction, the bite, no problem. Another feature of the Scotty One, as you can see this black part, is a plastic piece there to give the torsional support. It's a torsional plate on the Scotty One so that it will give you extra stability to the sneaker. As for the sizing of the Scotty One, this one is US 11. Usually, in my other world balance, I'm US 10. So this is really true to size. For regular footers, true to size. And if you're a wide footer, I think it's best if you go up one size because they don't have half sizes but if you can try it in store because it's re a really narrow sneaker so i don't know how wide your foot is so better if you can try it in store so the scotty one is 3800 pesos very affordable basketball sneaker and the tech that you'll be getting out of it the performance that you'll be getting out of it sulit na sulit siya for the price so impressed with it uh, congratulations world balance philippines for this very nice signature basketball sneaker that you've gave us. Di nyo kami tinipid sa tech and the price is legit, legit affordable. And I wish more colorways will come out because this colorway was sold out already. So more colorways to come. I believe they're making some more colorways. Congrats again, Scotty Thompson, World Balance for a successful first basketball signature sneaker. So this has been Mark Chess once again. Thank you for dropping by. Let me know what you think about the Scotty One. 
Nalaro nyo na ba? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!